All right, we'll take it from here. Al 602 and new this morning. WBTV has learned the town of Matthews has scheduled a special meeting for next Tuesday to discuss ways for people to comment during board meetings. It comes after that meeting Monday night where someone zoom bombed the commissioners spewing anti-Semitic, racist and homophobic speech for more than 20 minutes. WBTV broke that story yesterday morning and we've been digging into the divide over free speech versus hate speech. Mary Calkins is live with the response to our story. Mary. That's right, Alex. Commissioners, people who were at that meeting and folks who live in Matthews, they seem united on the fact that that speech was hateful and vile, but the split comes in whether it should be censored. Now, it was apparent during the meeting when commissioners went around and around about whether the volume should have been turned down, which it was for a time during the comment section of Monday night's meeting. Nicole Sidman, who was running for North Carolina House District 105, was there. She and others ended up leaving the meeting after the hateful speech continued, but commissioners are split over how the situation was handled. When the third call started, I was like, all right, we're done here. Unfortunately, you know, people were forced to listen. We cannot shut down speakers based on the sensitivities of individuals or of other groups. I am a fervent, passionate zealot for the First Amendment. Commissioner Tofano, whom you just heard from, says he wants to make it absolutely clear that he in no way agrees with the vitriol, but he does believe in the right to free speech. Again, commissioners are holding a, a special meeting next Tuesday to discuss if any changes need to be made to the public comment section us uh, a period of these meetings. And of course, we will closely follow the story and bring you any updates as we learn them. Reporting live in Charlotte, Mary Calkins, WBTV on your side.